Hello everyone, my name is Evan Chavez. I am a current graduate student in the School of Education pursuing an educational studies degree with a concentration in design and technology for learning across cultures and contexts. Now you may be wondering about that long degree title and what does it mean? Well, in the School of Education, we call it DATL for short, and we are tasked to research and design proper learning experiences that can improve learning outcomes for all students. Or quite simply, we are trying to understand how people learn. Before joining CAI and University of Michigan, I was an elementary school teacher on the Navajo Nation. I was a teacher in the same school I attended as a child, and I got to work alongside many of my former teachers and my former basketball coach. I couldn't ask for better mentors. I joined the learning experience design team at CAI fixated on the word design. That word echoed across campus in class discussions and the dreaded required readings. And I was certain this word could be easily translated into the language of education. The experience I had with CAI was enlightening. I learned a proper translation of the word design and its agency in learning outcomes. Here are two projects I was involved in over my time at CAI. In the future of teaching collection, we gathered materials across the university to understand what lies ahead for teaching and lifelong learning. A year of transformation certainly was an impetus for this collection. This collection explores a variety of categories in the future of teaching to fit the growing demands of the 21st century. I was tasked with the theme, Decolonization in Education. And here is where design was put into action. As our world changes to embrace technology, so will our methods of learning and teaching. Educators must lead innovation for diversity, equity, and inclusion to challenge outdated beliefs and decolonize the education system in the US. I worked diligently to address this statement, reviewing materials sourced from Michigan's faculty, research, academic programs, and panel discussions. The rigor of selection for this playlist was a collaborative effort guided by a focus on equitable and inclusive course design and pedagogy. For my second project, I was able to join the School of Public Health in designing a course on health inequities. Once again, I carried those same principles for my first team over when I was invited to be a part of this course design. This time, I worked with Dr. Paul Fleming in the School of Public Health to offer some insight on the theme settler colonialism. It was a much smaller team this time, so I was able to get fully immersed in the details from idea formation to launch date. I was able to offer constructive feedback on the content for students as well as provide suggestions on assessments. The project is set to launch this summer, and I cannot wait for you all to take part in the learning experience. The projects and the teams I have been appointed to during my term at CAI really showcased how design can address a particular problem. A common misconception about design is that it is simply a process to make things pretty. Rather, design is a comprehensive and systematic way to guide, organize, and work our ideas into a concrete solution. As designers, we research, collect information, consider who is facing this problem, and most importantly, we iterate. We learn what works best and adapt our solution for the best fit. In our projects, design was a collaborative effort. As ambitious as it may be, our team was able to harmonize our vision, ideas, and feelings to craft an experience that allows our learners to connect almost immediately. I was also fortunate enough to take part in a graduate program that seamlessly aligned with my position at CAI. In the classroom, the exploration of learning theories while also investigating technology as a learning tool provided the groundwork for a successful fellowship. Together, the School of Education and the Center for Academic Innovation allowed me to bridge the gap between design and technology for learning. This experience has certainly transformed my year in Ann Arbor and the Michigan community. Thank you all for listening. I hope you all had a fulfilling experience at CAI. I would like to thank Ryan Henyard.
for embracing and supporting my ideas, and most importantly, guiding me through these principles of design for the LXD team. I would also like to thank Nikki Munch, Peter Arashiro, and Rebecca Quintana for their inclusion of my ideas, goals, and project input. Their guidance has been invaluable. And finally, thanks to the entire CAI staff for allowing us to take part in this experience and share with each other. Thank you.